Hey YouTube, ready for a fish room update? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian from AquaticSupportSystems.com and Brian's Fish Tanks. And I'm just going to take you through all of my tanks and uh, show you what's going on this month. Wanted to get a quick update in before the end of the month because I hadn't uh, been able to do much as far as uh, filming updates this month. Before I get started though, if you're watching this before Cyber Monday, November 26, uh, I want to make sure that you know, do know that I've got a sale going on on AquaticSupportSystems.com. 20% uh, off everything. I'll try to remember to post the coupon code below, but otherwise it's on the home page of the website. AquaticSupportSystems.com. We sell fish food, shrimp food, and other supplies, so we've got 20% off everything right now. That's uh, Southern Delight, Bulk, Bottles, Shrimp King, Low Keys, MK Bree, Glass Garden, um, Salty Shrimp, Moss Ledges, Choya Wood, anything we carry on there, 20% off, it's a pretty good deal and you can't beat it. So if you're looking for fish food or other supplies right now, make sure you go check it out. All right, let's get started with the tour. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, the big Umbi tank. Um, if you're new to Umbies, these are Kronoharos umbariferum. Um, they are um, open water predator fish uh, from the Rio Magdalena River. Um, this is Magnus. He's about a six to seven year old Umbi, I think, at this point. Um, if you're not familiar, I got him from Mike Mann when he got out of the hobby. Mr. Mann's cichlids on YouTube. He used to be a real big uh, YouTuber as far as uh, cichlids go. This is Magnus and his uh, wife is in the uh, pot over there that's Beast. And then there's a big Pleco in there, but uh, he's got a little bit of damage to his nuchal hump and his top right now from uh, hitting the top of the tank when he uh, is trying to get food. Um, but yeah, he's quite a beast and he's doing real well. His son, Optimus, right here, you can see through the uh, glare or the reflections he's an f1 because uh, his daddy and mommy are wild caught and that's his wife matrix she's from another pair so these two do not share a bloodline at all which is pretty neat which is pretty neat when you're breeding them they recently had a spawn and you can see there's still a few fry swimming around but they like usual if I don't pull them pretty much ate everything so he's getting to be a good I don't know 16 17 18 inches somewhere in there so they're doing real well we'll go over and check out the Trimac pair who is divided right now that's the male looking real good they're hungry. Female. She's recovering because for the second time now she got beat up a little bit. This is going to be the kind of the down in the dirty fish room tour because I didn't do any glass cleaning or anything like that ahead of time. So sorry for the spots or the algae, water spots or algae. Got a little spooked. Um, let's uh... Give him a little, uh, she's probably gonna be freaked out now, but I was gonna say we'll do a little fish food here. Um, some, uh, I got some Southern Delight small cichlid. Oops, put way too much in when I'm trying to do it one-handed. Let's get some for this guy too. I've got these guys on power feed, but I didn't have a bottle right by the tank, so small cichlid it is, which they still love. Just trying to close the lid with the other hand. Um, down below are some fry grow outs. I've got, still got some Midas left here, uh, probably 10 of them or so. These are available for sale if you're looking for some. Um, some Hadiensis, just a couple in that tank. And then some Trimac. I think I got about five or so left. Those are also available. And then down below here, the big group of Hadiensis. Bunch of them. Available as well if you're looking for Hadiensis. It's the Redis latest tank. 
they're doing good. No spawning action from him, but uh, he's frisky and he's trying to get her to spawn. We'll see what happens, but if you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know that they usually only spawn successfully about twice a year or so. so. This guy's a big beast though. Her tube is down. So we'll see what happens. Cadiensis pair. They had a real big spawn. You can see some fry swimming around, but uh, didn't really have anywhere to put them, so I didn't pull them. And uh, they've eaten most of them. Look at this guy, though. I just feel real lucky to have this fish. He's just a sweet, awesome looking specimen. She's looking good, too. Looks like they've been doing a little bit of lip locking going by the damage on her lips and the fest day over here They're doing real good also Female is not out at the moment, wonder where she is. Silver dollars are looking nice also. Let's see if we can't find the female. She's probably in one of these tubes. Or she likes to hide back here sometimes. Yeah, she's back with them. And these sponge filters are not gonna be able to see. You can see part of her fin there. Trimax, and then I've got the Arowana in this 180 here. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the Trimax situation. Um, until I can get that pair that I showed you earlier living in harmony, uh, none of these guys are going anywhere. But once once that happens, I may clear out this tank. Uh, the Silver Arowana is in this tank now too. You might notice. And the reason behind that is. Got a problem with this 210. Let's see, down here, we got a brace. The middle brace is missing and it's just kind of hanging down in the tank right now. I came down one day, actually had some guys over buying some shrimp from me, and uh, I noticed that this brace was down and that these lights, as well as the, the tops I've got on these tanks, were laying in the water. So, um, took care of my customers and uh, quickly drained the tank. And it's been empty now for a couple of weeks. I got some silicone and some clamps and everything I need finally to go ahead and reseal that brace. The brace is just on with silicone, it's just glass. Um, same, it's got the same brace on this tank above it here. I'll see if we can show you what it looks like, kind of. I don't know if you're able to see it, I'm just sticking the camera above, but. So it's just held in place by silicone, so I'll fix that and we'll be back in business. Uh, we're gonna look at some shrimp too. A lot of times I keep the shrimp separate, but this month um, it's kind of hectic, so I'm gonna keep everything in one video. Uh, right here we've got the red pintos. Um, they're all eating some Shrimp King Complete right now, which I do sell on AquaticSupportSystems.com if you're looking. Here are the uh, Blue Dreams. Um, got some reds up here in the Savage Red Tank. Some of the crayfish are out right now. Dwarf Crays. All these tanks here I feed the fish king or fish king shrimp king complete it's a Bloody Mary tank it's the uh, white slash golden bee tank a lot of breeding going on in there lately along with the pintos really really some good breeding 
Here's the tie bees. And then the uh, the crystal blacks with one crystal red in there. Look at that. We're gonna pull him out and put him with his crystal red brothers. These are the super crystal reds. Got a few babies in there. These guys are looking great. Down below are the Taiwan bees. Mixed Taiwan bee tank. A little bit of everything. Blue bolts, red bolts, BKK, pandas, shadow pandas. And then we'll take a look at Colossus real quick here. The King Kafa 9.9 .9 flower horn. You can see he's got some visitors. The clown loaches from the 210 that broke are all in here right now. They're doing just fine together, but I'd like to get them back in that 210 where they have a lot more room because they're pretty big. I like to get close-ups of the patterns on this guy because they're just super cool. I'm trying to make this video not too long though either. Down below is the Midas tank. I don't remember if my last update I talked about this, but he killed his female, the white one. It was one of my favorite female Midas that I've ever owned. So I put the Midas that was in Cheeto's tank in here, and then I'll show you later that the one that was in, in uh, the 210 over there is with Cheeto now, and things can't be going better. This one surviving fry is getting to be pretty big. Um, just kind of letting him do, letting him or her do his thing, but this guy's looking real well. So is she. All right, the other flower horn is right here. As you can see, he's got a tank mate too. This is that male Moda that was in the 210. And they don't get along real well, but he stays in the tube or can outswim him, swim the flower horn, so there's no real problems. This Moda though is looking really nice lately. So is this flower horn though. Mr. Freckle Lip. Uh, we'll show you some more shrimp right below here. These are the PRLs, Pure Red Lines. Doing real good. This tank has uh, got some good breeding going on, and I've got these available for sale if you're looking for some. Any of the stuff that you might be looking for sale to, uh, my email will be below in the description, or else you can hit me up on Facebook or go to aquaticsupportsystems.com and uh, look me up there. This is, well, I didn't even say what these were. This is the uh, the one crystal red tank where the colony is kind of depleting. So I'm gonna decide if I wanna add more to this or mix them in with my other crystal tank and try something new here. Uh, Black Pinto tank is doing good. I do need to uh, call out some of the Michelings and uh, the ones with the blue coloration in them. But yeah, added uh, some of these from Steve Barbie here real recently to add a different uh, uh, bloodline to the mix. And then my old standby crystal reds are doing real good, as always, breeding like crazy, tons of babies. And I've always got them available. Down below here, when I talked earlier about the down and dirty, this is probably my dirtiest tank right now, as far as the glass goes, but this is the Moda pair. I uh, hesitate to call them a pair because they haven't spawned, but here's a male and the female is probably hiding in her pot over there. Not much to see there. So we'll take you upstairs and show you the reef tanks and the office tanks, and then we'll, uh, we'll cut this short. 
All right, so here we are at the 125 gallon reef tank and uh, things have been going pretty good overall. A little bit of coral loss. Um, this frog spawn here used to be huge. You can see it's just hanging on by a thread. Um, had a little bit of a calcium deficiency um, by way of a failed, I shouldn't say failed, but clogged dosing pump. But most stuff is doing pretty good in here. Um, you can see the the NEMS are doing well. Green star polyps, hammer coral. For the most part, things are doing good. The uh, the green NEM has been taking walks a lot lately. Now it's kind of tucked in right there. It spends a lot of time right here on this kind of end of the rock structure, but it's constantly moving. This frog spawn over here is having problems as well, hoping I can get that to recover. Mushrooms are doing good. All the plating corals are doing real nice. I moved a big chunk from the nano cube over here and glued it onto the side to see if it would take off. Sorry about the glue job, but it doesn't look good. Fish are all doing good. Haven't added any fish since the last update. They kind of like to hide from the camera, which is weird. I don't have my uh, gel filter on the camera today too, so I apologize in advance, but this is going to probably turn out really blue. And we can go over here and take a look at the BioCube quick. The glass in the BioCube is pretty dirty today. I just decided I should get a video filmed and decided I didn't have the time today to go through and film everything. To be honest, I'm filling a lot of Black Friday orders that have been coming in throughout the weekend on the website, so it's been taking most of my time this holiday weekend, but that's a good thing. So, um, Some problems in here with some of the corals too. You can see some of the stuff isn't opened up as good as it should be uh, right now but it always seems to bounce back in this tank so um, that NEM right there is closed up right now and the other one seems to have taken a walk I was in here the other day and I moved a few corals around um, things are a little irritated I think but anyway this leather lately too hasn't seemed to really have been opening up until later in the day, um, like in the evening, so it doesn't look the greatest right now. I'm filming at about 1.30 in the afternoon. All right, and we can go in and check out the office next. All right, well, Cheeto and his wife have spawned. You can see in the back, there's a big pile of wigglers um, mixed in with gravel. But when I switched this other female up here, um, it took less than a week. Well, maybe a little more than a week, but anyway, you may have seen, seen a post on, post on Facebook from me and Instagram last week that uh, came in and caught them at the tail end of a spawn. Quite a few wigglers. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty big, big uh, clutch of fry, so that's cool. Um, she does not like him going near the pot either. She's on guard. The 90 gallon lights are off right now. Nothing worth seeing. I'm just having another blackbeard algae attack in there. And then the shrimp tanks, the lights are off, so I won't even bother showing those to you right now either. Nothing special to see, but. Yeah, that's really it for this tour, guys. Um, again, if you're watching this before Cyber Monday, which is November 26, 2018, go to AquaticSupportSystems.com and get 20% off all your purchases, no minimums. Um, I'll try to remember to put the coupon code below, but otherwise it says it right on the front page, home page of the website or in the blog. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Make sure you share this video if you would. Make sure to hit that like button as well, and until next time, stay tuned.